In this video, I am going to explain three places that can create thoracic outlet syndrome. Thoracic outlet syndrome is that there is a pain around neck area, the clavicle area, and chest area. This kind of area can have pain from thoracic outlet syndrome. Now, where is the cause of thoracic outlet syndrome? Mainly, there are three places that can be causes. I will explain one by one. The first place is this place. You know, there are two muscles which are related to thoracic outlet syndrome in this area. What are they? They are these two muscles. In between these two muscles, there are uh, brachial plexus. Brachial plexus is a bundle of nerves. If this brachial plexus got impingement from these two muscles, what can happen? It's irritated, thus that can create pain. What are these two muscles? This one is middle scaling. Middle scaling. And this one is anterior scaling. I will change the color. Middle scaling and anterior scaling. In between these two muscles, brachial plexus pass through here. Scaling is kind of a breathing muscle and neck movement muscle. If somebody uses scaling too much, that can pinch the brachial plexus. How come scaling can be tight? Maybe from whiplash, maybe it's from head trauma, maybe it's from a concussion. That kind of trauma can diminish this space, then it can create pain that can lead thoracic outlet syndrome. The first part, important thing is middle scaling, anterior scaling. If this space is diminished, that can create pain. Okay, first part is done. Let's move on to second part. Now, second part is a little bit lower than first part. The key muscle is this one. This muscle is subclavius. Subclavius, literally, it's under the clavicle. Its function is lower than clavicle. Okay, this is very, very important muscle. Posterior to subclavius, there is, again, brachial plexus. And this space, this space is very, very narrow. Brachial plexus is passing very narrow space. Then what was function of subclavius? Depression of clavicle. If clavicle is depressed, what's going to happen to this space? It diminishes even more, right? The space decreases, right? Then what's going to happen to brachial plexus? It can have impingement again, like the first part here, right? That's why subclavius is very, very important here. Subclavius is here. It's very minor muscle. Subclavius doesn't move bone like big movement like pectoris major or deltoid. This is very tiny muscle. However, if this muscle gets tight, it lowers down clavicle, then it make impingement for brachial plexus. This place is also important. Second part is subclavius. Let's move on to third place. Third place, important muscle is this one. It's slightly bigger than previous two muscles. This muscle is pectoris minor. Pectoris minor. It's also important for thoracic outlet syndrome. See, there is brachial plexus again. Posterior to pectoris minor. 
So bracket prefixes passes posterior to pec minor. What if this muscle gets tight? What happens to this space, the space here? It can be diminished. Then what's gonna happen to brachial plexus? It can have impingement here. Then it can create pain around here. So the logic is basically same for all three places. Same as a uh, scaling, same as here, subclavius. There is the nerve related to these muscles. And if these muscles get tight, the space diminishes, then that can have impingement for brachial plexus. That's why it's easy to get pain around here, around here, and scaling neck area here. These area are very important. It can be tight. It can get tight because of the trauma, injury, car accident, whiplash. So many physical trauma can lead thoracic outlet syndrome. I hope this video helps your understanding of thoracic outlet syndrome mechanics. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.